Hello, 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 hello. You first should look at the solutions that I already published to problem 78. And the issue that I raised, and I did that in the middle of the night <laughs> when I woke up, the issue that I raised is when d is zero, it was clear that small h was 40 centimeters, 2 mg, 2 mg divided by k. But with r d of 4 centimeters, small h became 44 centimeters. And so the question now is if little d had been 12 centimeters, would little h then have been 52 centimeters? And if so, why? And the answer is, yes, indeed, if d had been 12 centimeters, small h would have been 52 centimeters. And the answer is really staring you in the face if you look at my solution that I have posted. In those solutions, I have derived this, and that was the result of the work energy theorem, so I will not go over that. And indeed you can confirm if d is zero, that you will find that h is 2 mg divided by k, and that is 40 centimeters. But now, look what is under here. This part here is mg divided by k plus d squared. mg divided by k squared is here. d squared is here. And then you have to take twice the product of these two, which is 2mg divided by k. So what you have here is identical to what you have here. Now I remove the square root and I remove the 2 and I have an mg over k here. So I find now that small h is 2 mg over k plus d. Therefore, since 2 mg over k is 40 centimeters, little h will always be the 40 centimeters plus ud. If d is 4 centimeters, h will be 44 centimeters, little h. If d is 12 centimeters, small h will be 52 centimeters. So, it is not a coincidence. Okay, <laughs> this wasn't too difficult, but I decided to only address this issue to real lovers. And if you are a real lover, I'm sure you got this already, okay? Have a nice day, take care, and we'll be friends, of course. So let me add a few more numbers that may help you. So remember that the 2mg over k is 40 centimeters. So h is 40 centimeters plus d. h is 40 plus d. This is in centimeters. Capital H is small h plus d, so it's 40 plus 2d. So here you see d is 0, h is 40, capital H is 40. d is 4, which was our case. Small h is 44. Capital H is 48. That was our problem. If you make this 6D, this becomes 46, this becomes 52, and if you could make D as large as 12, there may be restrictions because you may ruin the spring, but that's a detail for now, then you would get small H 52 and capital H 64. I can't add much more than this. So, it is not at all a coincidence that small h is 40 plus d and therefore that whenever you in 
increase the age, little age will increase by exactly the same amount. Alright then, let's leave it with that.